All right, so we're back here with the medicine man, and today he's going to be walking us through how to bottle all of the tinctures after they're all made. So it's been about a month and a half since we were out collecting. Seventeen all these. July. So July seventeenth, we did the self heal. That was when we did the self heal vid video where we were tincturing up the self heal. Now in this video, what are you going to be explaining to everybody? Well, we're going to take the material or the self-heal away from the liquid. And the liquid that's left is the medicine. So the first thing you'll probably need, there's various ways to do it. I use this because I can actually measure how many uh, bottles I'll need. This is available at any, geez, any resale shop or uh, supermarket, and I think I paid five bucks for this. It's like what, like a massive garlic presser or something? Uh, it's just a <laughs> a unit that allows you to compress. There's other ways to do it. Some people take um, a baker's thing and just squeeze all of it out. Uh, this one works great for me it's whatever you choose now I do use this nut uh, filter in there nut milk bag right I think I uh, I think I got this from one of your shows and it's worked out very well cool. so you you put that in there then you take yourself heel smell not much yeah. smell to yeah. it nothing there so you just start putting the material in there if you, a little falls out or gets in the side don't worry because we're gonna filter it again and then uh, away we go Look at that coming out of there. Oh yeah, you're getting a lot out of just that small little pinch. Right. Wow. And I imagine that press really gets every little last bit out of there. And then this is just compostable. So we'll put that in the compost. And then we do another one. So while we're doing that, I happen to hear the water boiling over here. Uh, do you want to go ahead and start prepping the bottles? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so you'll need that big pan. And what we're going to do here is we're going to sterilize the bottles that we're going to use. And we got the bottles. You can get these bottles uh, we have a store where we're from and uh, we just call them up and they ship us whatever we need but these happen to be the two ounce bottles here so what you want to do is you want to take them apart and we're going to sterilize them so we're going to put them up we got a couple one ounce uh, I don't know, that looks a use, so throw that away. So how much do you think we're going to need? I think we should just put them all in. Yeah. Now you're just sterilizing the where the liquid is going to be stored. Do you sterilize these? Yeah, you'll sterilize the droppers. This is just because it's straight from the manufacturer. And you just want to make sure there's no residue from the manufacturing process in there. So why don't you go ahead and grab that hot water. Might be a little hot. Get a... Okay, coming your way. Okay, so just pour it in on top of the bottles. In the bottle? In the actual bottle, yeah.
So I'm pouring this in the bottles. Okay, while you're doing that, I went ahead and uh, ran the rest of the material. You can see here. So right now we're going to do our second filtration. And what you want to do is clean out your filter. Oops. Get it up so you can see. So we're just rinsing it, getting the old material out, getting ready for the new material. All right, now we're running it through the second filter. No sense squeezing this because we're picking up a little bit of solids that you want to catch. So, that is finite. Now we'll take a look at the quantity we got. So, if you remember, we put in two cups and now we're down to a cup and a half. And that's because uh, the self heal absorbs a lot of the liquids and you'll find that when you do barks and stuff like that. Other materials add to it. Uh, so, we got the bottles ready. Go Bottle ahead and ready. pull them out. Okay. Get the water out of them. There'll always be a few drops of water, but that's perfectly fine. Okay. So these will be the first two that we do. We have a funnel. A little funnel. Yeah, I think I paid a quarter for this one. But all you do is kind of just watch it go in. And how big is that bottle there you're pouring into? That's a one ouncer. Okay. So. And how do you, can you see when it reaches the top? Or, oh yeah, there Yeah, you, you want to get it slightly over the sloped area because once you put this in it takes up and oh, it adds, yeah. adds to it. So okay. that's our first one. Cool. So why don't uh, you continue on with that and I'll show them some of the other stuff we made during our absence. Okay so If you remember, uh, the first thing we observed was the lemon balm. And this is what the lemon balm ended up looking. It's got kind of a yellowish tint to it. But the lemon balm, I take it uh, every night before I go to sleep, like two big dropperfuls. And it helps you have a restful sleep plus it's a good nutrition to detox. We take we take it. Me and Ashley take it in the morning too, because it kills Epstein Barr virus. So it's one of those things you should be taking every day, twice a day, I, or I, even more if you're chronically ill or dealing with more symptoms and conditions that it might help help with. Okay, the next thing we saw was the narrow leaf plantain and this one you can see is much darker and I'm sure with this one we'll get more liquid than the two ounces but uh, yeah so we did that one uh, and they saw that one in the video that was the one we ate this is what the bottles look like after they're done uh, we apply a label and then there's this little uh, plastic top that makes it you know childproof or something but they have a little perforated edge and just rip it off that's your narrow leaf uh, the next thing we saw was this mullen and we ended up harvesting the tops 
and some of the leaves and you can see that's really a golden yellow because a lot of it was the flower and we have a finished bottle here so the ingredients are mowing flower tops the vegetable glycerin is number two and water is number three medical uses respiratory conditions lungs sinuses cough dry throat and asthma we did get some yellow dock and the yellow dock you have to harvest the root and then dry it off dry it out so that was quite a bit more work and you wait till the end of the season when the plant is dead and don't worry about killing the plant because yellow dock spreads like crazy and little pieces of the roots that are left behind will grow three or four more plants also oh, seeds like crazy there's seeds everywhere yeah they so. seed like crazy and that's why we wait till the end of the year we also got some nettle you can see how much this has shrunk over the 30-day period now this one is primarily seeds but uh, there are some leaves in that and let me show you what this is okay so it relieves seasonal allergies restores adrenals and kidneys and that's kind of important two dropper fulls in the morning is what I do and I never have stomach issues or digestive problems, anything like that. And we have one, two, three, four, five. So that's five ounces. So we got 15 ounces of material. Uh, not a lot, but the medicine is really good. Uh, this is the self heal. I did on my first test with it, it did reduce uh, the size of one of my lymphoids under the arm uh, did did not help me with my blood pressure though so at least we know it cleans the lymphatic system and it's good for a poultice too so you could always use it to, to heal a wound on the hand or on your body somewhere yeah. so. right so that's that's it that's it it was that easy, huh? That easy. Wow, okay. So yeah, you guys could do this at home pretty easily. You guys could go harvest some medicine right now, and in two weeks, you could bottle it and start using it to heal yourselves. That's pretty amazing. And each plant heals some other part of your body. But, of course, we all know the liver is the most important organ we have in our body. So when we find things that detox the liver, we're, we spe pay special attention to those. And then you had on those other bottles, you had some sort of oh, uh, the plastic ma material seal. there. Yeah. Okay, a seal. Yeah, we don't do it out in the field because uh, it requires a thousand watt hair dryer to shrink this onto the unit. So we don't have that much power because we're running off of solar so uh, we'll take this stuff home and do it there and we'll also apply the labels cool but see something you guys could do at home I mean now medicine man has just shared with us how to harvest the medicine different types of medicine you could be out looking for and then he came back he talk to us about how to actually turn it into medicine in this liquid form and then today we bottled it showed us how to bottle everything so now you guys know every step of the process and you can go out and do this for yourself yeah pretty it's, cool it's kind of fun the detective work of finding the plant and then how to harvest it uh, there's books I think we showed you in the earlier and that's what we use to identify and that's a fun part the bottling is also fun and of course taking the medicine afterwards to see how it affects you is uh, you'll have you'll see some amazing uh, amazing results and it's all from nature cool so have a fabulous day all right well, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank you. it. Yeah. I'm I'll come to the farm anytime you need me. Okay. That's that's good to know. 
See you guys. Bye. So we just wrapped up with Medicine Man here. He's got three videos out with us now. First video, we went out, we collected the medicine. The second video, he showed us how to extract the medicine from the plant. And this video, he just showed us how to bottle everything. So if you haven't seen those videos already, go back, watch those videos to understand the full process. And if you haven't subscribe to our videos subscribe uh, give it a give this video a like if you liked it and uh, comment below let us know how it goes for you if you're gonna try this let us know what you're trying it with let us know uh, how this this put this method to the test and tell us uh, tell us how it's working out for you we're, we're, we're very curious now you guys have all the tools you need to make your own medicine get out there start harvesting some herbs and start making your own medicine all right well we'll see ya bye Ha <laughs> ha